this message is just for you. You are good enough. This is the episode for you. We get so caught up in learning the new stuff, but sometimes we need that reminder to go back to what we know. Good morning, happy Friday, and welcome to the Language Confidence Project. I'm here every weekday morning to remind you that this is possible, even for you, no matter what language you're learning, and to cheer you on along the way. And today, if you're just tired of feeling new and lost, and you're impatient for it all to make sense, I recorded this video just for you. When we're learning something new, and we have all these undiscovered things stretching out in front of us, it can be really exciting, but it can also put so much pressure on. We feel like we always need to be in a state of gathering momentum, speeding up, ticking things off the list and moving on to the next thing because we just have so much to do that we feel like we can't waste any time. And it is so easy to get lost in what comes next. But the problem with always rushing in to the next new thing is that A, you forget the basics, and B, it is exhausting being constantly confused. And the trouble with something like language learning is that then we put it out into the world that it all feels hard and draining, and the world comes back and says, yeah, I mean, leaving your comfort zone is uncomfortable and languages are hard and draining. And so then we just think, well, this is something we have to deal with. But I don't think it is. Certainly not all day, every day. We talk about language learning, especially for people who haven't done it before, as an act of leaving their comfort zone. And that is true a bit. But the reality is, as you start the process, you're creating new comfort zones as you go. Kind of like Hansel and Gretel leaving breadcrumbs behind them as they walk in the fairy tale. So what I really want to say to you today is, let those be your resting places. Take time to go back and really make the most of what you already know. Remember, A1 or complete beginner language is still language. It's the basics for a reason. It's so commonly used and it's genuinely incredibly useful. So even if you're an advanced speaker, take time to write passages entirely in the present tense. Never stop introducing yourself to new people. Don't stop creating and journaling about pets or family or food just because those are the topics you discovered at the beginning of this course book and now you're near the end. Language learning doesn't always need to be a trajectory of creating ever more complicated things on ever more complex topics using ever more advanced grammar. Sometimes the best thing we can do to calm our anxieties and boost our confidence is to do what we do best for a while. It's not shameful or lazy or a step back to do things that feel easier. And it's not a failure to go back to basics. It isn't regression to use so-called beginner language and simple sentence structures. Giving yourself the headspace not to worry as much about grammar and vocab means that you can actually find your voice in your new language and enjoy the creativity, or the self-expression or the connection that it can bring you. So let the work that past you has done give back to you. And while you're there, celebrate how much easier it feels now and how much progress you've made. 
Have a wonderful day and I will see you on Monday.